Today we'll be making this cute Christmas sweater ornament decorated with a snowman. Look how cute he looks in his little blue hat and scarf with his little carrot nose. If you are new to this channel or missed my previous videos, this is the third sweater in the Christmas sweater series. So far I made one with a Christmas tree and one with a red nose reindeer. I will leave a link to those in the description box below if you want to make them as well. And don't forget to subscribe because there is more to come. Hello friends and welcome back. As I said, we'll be making this cute little snowman today. For this project we will need felt in different colors. I am using light brown for the sweater, white for the snowman, light blue for his hat and scarf, dark brown for his eyes, and I have a little bit of red for his nose. We will also need thread in different colors. I chose similar colors to the felt. A good sharp pair of scissors, needle, double-sided tape, and paper clip to make this hanger so we can decorate the sweater and hang it on a hanger. And lastly, you will need a pattern which is in the description box below and you can download it for free. We'll be using it to cut out all the pieces needed for this ornament. We are going to start by roughly cutting out the pieces of the snowman from the paper. You don't have to be precise here, just roughly cut out each piece. What I like to do is use a double-sided tape to secure the piece of the paper to the felt. That way the paper doesn't shift and I can easily cut out the pieces I need. You could use a pin to keep the paper in place, but it doesn't work well for smaller pieces. And I tend to poke myself with it, so I prefer this method. You only need a tiny bit of the tape to keep the paper in place. What's very important is to use a good pair of sharp scissors. It really should be easy to cut out the pieces precisely and if you are struggling with it, the scissors you are using are probably not the best for this job.
You don't have to be using the same colors. If you already have some felt handy from previous projects, just use what you have. We are going to need the snowman's body, two eyeballs, the scarf, the hat, his nose and two pieces of sweater, one for the front and one for the back. We are first going to sew the snowman on the front of the sweater. I'm using a white thread so it is less visible. You can use a running stitch or a whip stitch to secure his body onto the sweater. You could just glue on the pieces, but if you watched my previous videos, you already know that even though I'm not very good at sewing, I do enjoy the process, so I'll be sewing on all the pieces. Next, we'll sew on his hat. First, I'm securing the top of the hat to the sweater with a whip stitch. And then I'll go across where the brim and the crown meets with a back stitch and sew a few vertical stitches on the brim to give it some dimension.
So here I'm using a backstitch and just sewing on a horizontal line to visually separate the crown of the head from the brim. And here I'm just sewing on some vertical lines. I like how these stitches add to the look of the hat. Next is the scarf. Usually I use a whip stitch to secure the pieces on, but in this case I'll be using a back stitch to visually outline the scarf so it looks like it's tied around the neck.
The snowman is coming along nicely. I'm sewing on the nose with a whip stitch. Another option you could do is instead of cutting out the felt and sewing it on, you could just sew the nose on using a satin stitch. And the last piece to sew on are the eyes. I cut out pieces from the felt, but you could use small beads or even a French knot to make the eyes. And lastly, let's give him some character and sew on a smile. I thought the sweater looked a bit boring and needed something else to spruce it up, so I decided to sew on some snowflakes. Different snowflake variations could be either cutting out tiny circles of white felt and sewing them on, just like we did with the eyes, or you could use French knots to make snow or even tiny white beads. The front of the sweater is now ready and all we need to do is sew on the back to hide all those ugly stitches. To do that, I'm using a blanket stitch. To do the blanket stitch, you just bring your needle through both layers of the felt and catch the loop of the thread before pulling. Make another stitch a short distance away, catching the loop again. I 
I hope you are enjoying these videos and make your own Christmas ornaments this holiday season. Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite so far. If you don't want to miss the upcoming videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are only halfway done with these and we still have three more to go. The upcoming videos will have the Santa stuck in the chimney design, Christmas wreath and the gingerbread man. The last thing to do is decorate the sweater with a hanger. The video on how to make these hangers is listed in the description box below. Hope you had fun and until next time, happy crafting!